Hey, hey everybody. everybody! We just want to thank everyone for coming out and supporting us on our big day. This has just been incredible, awesome, and we love having everyone here. Thank you. We love you all! <laughs> Oh my. stands with his bride and gives the blessing for this marriage. Welcome everyone, friends and family who have traveled to be with Kaylin and Mikey today. We thank you for being here to share this special day. You may be seated. As a reminder, just keep your phones down so that photographers have clear shots and Russ, turn off your ringer. Love is the force that brings us all here today. We are all here to support and witness Mikey and Kaylin on their first day as husband and wife. As you go into married life, remember the reason. The reason you get up each morning, get ready, do your best in the world, and look forward to coming home. Remember the reason you sacrifice, the reason you give, the reason you laugh, the reason you are legally and spiritually becoming a family. Love. <laughs> Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. 
It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no records of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Now, Mikey, do you, of your own free will, Take Kay Lynn as your lawful wedded wife to love, protect, he's eager, <laughs> and defend as long as you both shall live. I do. Now, Kay Lynn, do you of your own free will take Mikey as your lawful wedded husband? to love, protect, and defend as long as you both shall live. I do. Do you, Mikey, thou to place Kaylin above all others, before all others, and to stand true and immovable in your support for her through good times and bad? Do you, Kaylin, vow to place Mikey above all others, before all others, and stand true and unmovable in support for him through good times and bad? I will. There's a B. Sorry. <laughs> we'll wait for the B to pass. <laughs> I will, even with the B. <laughs> Focus. Okay. <laughs> You may now exchange the rings. With these public promises and vows and the symbolic exchange of wedding bands, I now pronounce you by the power vested in me by the Universal Life Church in the state of Washington, husband and wife, you may seal these vows of love with a kiss. Will you please stand and congratulate Mr. Michael Scott Shea and Mrs. Kaylin Dessa Shea.
I love you guys both so much. I'm so grateful to be a part of the wedding and I wish you the happiest ever after. Congratulations, hope there's a baby soon. <laughs>I'm so blessed to be a part of both of your lives and to have seen your love story unfold and I can't wait for you guys to have kids. Love you. <laughs>
Kaylin. This guy's the best you can do, seriously. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, of course. Uh, Kaylin, I am so thankful that Mikey met you. I have never met someone who fits so perfectly with Mikey's personality. You enhance him and bring out the best in him. You love doing the things he loves to do, from the snowboarding to the wakeboarding and the dirt bike riding. You also can convince him to pose, take cute photos, and put filters on, and get him to flash that handsome smile, which I can confidently say you are probably the only person who can manage to do that. Kaylin, you are smart, you're driven, and you're a beautiful woman. You elevate Mikey to the next level, and you can match his energy, which I personally know can be a lot sometimes. <laughs> As your relationship grows, I can't wait to see how you two grow with it. I'm honored to consider you a friend, and I can't wait to see where our friendship also grows. I hope you like me, because you pretty much just married me, too. Uh, thanks for popping into Mikey's life, Kaylin. I wish you both the happiest marriage. First piece, Corey. Next up, friends and family, we've got Jess. I don't know why I decided to go second. Uh, I should have gone first. Would have been the first room. Forget. <laughs> but for those of you who don't know me, I'm Jessica, and I'm Kaylin's maid of honor. I would like to start off by saying congratulations to Kaylin and Mikey. I would also thank both of you. <laughs> thank you both of you for asking me to be part of your special day. It meant so much to me to watch my best, best friend marry the man of her dreams. This day has came so quickly and I hope you take, it, take the moments to enjoy it. And I'm going to start with Mikey. Mikey, first of all, you picked a really good one. <laughs> Thank you for being such a great partner for my best friend. I've never seen her so happy. When Kaylin first met you, I knew you, were to, you two were destined to be together. She had a sparkle in her eye and her face glowed every time she spoke of you. So Mikey, I ask from the bottom of my heart, will you please take care of her and treasure every moment you have together? And then Kaylin, where do I begin? Uh, there are so many things I want to say, but there's not enough pages to fill. For those of you who don't know me, I hated Kaylin when I first met her. Uh, she was just, mm, let's just say, too nice. And I was grumpy. Um, I actually, uh, after, like, I worked with her for a while, and I decided to courtesy invite her out with another girl and I, and she said yes, and I was like, oh, okay, sounds good. I thought she was really wanting to be my friend at this point. <laughs> well, since she was so excited, she was the first to arrive to my house. Uh, and after a while, I was like, okay, she ain't so bad. Funny thing, funny how things work out from a courtesy invite, to being inseparable and many holidays spent together with the family. Through the years, I've seen her grow into a beautiful woman she has become and truly blessed to be part of this moment in her life. That being said, Kaylin, I want you to take on another really big role right now. I'm gonna be passing along the torch of Mama Bear. I need you to protect all the friends. I think I've trained you well. So please take this honor and make me proud. Now let's raise a gra glass to the happy couple. I actually like both of you. And you, you have no idea how rare that is. <laughs> All right, next up folks, we've got Maddie. She knows you. 
She would literally give you the shirt off her back if you needed it. She just radiates love and positivity. And I'm so grateful. I still get to call her my best friend 14 years later. In case you didn't know this either, Kaylin didn't always have the best track record when it came to choosing men to date. But you heard her, and neither did I. <laughs> that is until I met my husband, and I truly don't think I've ever liked one of her boyfriends until I met Mikey. <laughs> I can confidently say Mikey's the only man I've ever liked and felt like was truly right for Kaylin. The yeah. first time I met him, I could tell right away from the way she looked at him and the way they interacted that he was so different. It truly makes me happy to see how happy Kaylin is with Mikey and to know my best friend is going to spend her life with someone that truly loves and appreciates her for who she is. So Kaylin and Mikey, you both found your perfect match and I wish you both in nothing but love and happiness for the rest of your lives. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> Next up, folks, I'd like to invite up Brennan. this architect and he's over on the east coast big time working out there but he lives back in LA and his wife is gonna have a baby so he has to go back to LA to be there for his wife's birth and uh, no it's not Kaylin uh, <laughs> yeah. no but uh, anyways he meets this aspiring actor at the airport and uh, this guy he's a little eccentric so um, he gets them kicked out of the airport and put on a no-fly list for saying all those TSA buzzwords like bomb and terrorist, all that. So obviously you can't just book another flight, TSA won't allow that. So he's forced to drive across America over to LA with this guy that just got him kicked off his flight so he can make it to his wife's uh, birth, or his baby's birth. And uh, anyways, on one of the first days the guy spends all their money on drugs. So that's a good start. He ends yeah. up crashing the car and even gets the guy arrested at the Mexican border. So, great time all, all across the way. And, uh, but, in a positive turn of events, um, the guy steals a truck, breaks him out of jail so that he can maybe get back to see the birth of his child. And yeah, like Kaylin said, a lot of people are like, where's this going? <laughs> but basically, that's what, like, what how my sister's like. <laughs> so you're born, you're forced to road trip through your childhood with this person, 15 years. You argue, you yell, you fight more than anybody would like to see. Uh, but anyways, at some point you grow up and you realize they'd do anything for you and you'd do anything for them. And really, Kaylin has done everything she can for me. Uh, she even taught me a few valuable lessons. Uh, the first one, her and Madison, I was in middle school maybe, they were in high school. Yeah, this Madison. Uh, they decided to sneak out one night. Um, yeah, succeeded. Succeeded. Everything was going perfect. They didn't wake up the dogs. They didn't trip the alarm system. The parents didn't wake up. It was perfect. That is until I came downstairs the next morning. And I saw Kaylin's shoes underneath the window, and the screen was missing. I was like, hmm, that's weird. So I waited for the perfect time when Mom was in the room, and I said, Kaylin, why are your shoes under the window, and where's the screen? And then... I saw mom, if you know, you know, Erica over here, I saw her give her that look, and I was like, boom. <laughs> yeah. So, that 
day, Kaylin taught me the valuable lesson of always hide the evidence. Uh, but anyways, she also taught me another lesson. It was don't judge a book by its cover or a boyfriend by his hair. If you, uh, if you knew Mikey about three years ago, he had long swooping hair down to his eyes. He was dressed like he came straight out of Ellensburg High School. Um, and so when he came into our backyard for the first time, I was looking at him and I was like, who's this 15-year-old kid that Kaylin's walking down here with? Turns out it was Mikey. And uh, anyways, I learned to know Mikey, grew to like him a little bit. We became wakeboarding partners. We even became gym buddies this summer. That was a good time. Uh, but I learned to know how loving, dedicated, and intelligent he is, and how much he cares about my sister. So Kaylin, I want to thank you for going through this road trip of childhood with me, and I couldn't be happier to call Mikey my brother, and that you took him along for the ride. So congratulations, and cheers, everybody. Next, I'd like to call up Kaylee's father. Father of the Brown. Um, I hope I've done the same for my kids, and the way they've turned out, I, I feel like I have, so thank you guys. Um, woo! I didn't know I was going to be like this, actually. Get it! All right. Cry. Go cry. Um, you know, we, we feel so fortunate to have so many good friends here, and they play such a huge role in um, raising our kids and being there for us. Um, friends and family, and uh, we appreciate you being here and all the support you guys have given us. Um, 
the wedding party, you guys travel from everywhere. There's like seven different states they travel from, and this just shows you the love that they have um, for these two. And we really appreciate that. Even Kyle. <laughs> you may have pulled a Gaylord Fokker at the bachelor party. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> So, so I wrote that and then I found out that it was probably a little bit more Kayla than I got. <laughs> but yeah. Um, hey, Mikey, you're lucky man. I'm just saying. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You, you married a special woman. Um, yeah, Mike dropped. You married a special, unique woman um, that we were really proud of. But um, she's also strong willed. Right, and um, she knows she knows her way, uh, and she's hard headed. I wonder where she got it from. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Uh, for sure. Um, some of you guys might remember, like she when she was a baby, she would get so she's so strong willed, she'd just start shaking until she passed out. Crazy baby. Crazy baby. <laughs> Crazy baby. Uh, so good luck. <laughs> um, yeah. So yeah, when you showed up, we were kind of like anxious, like, oh, what's this gonna hold? But you've joined our family, and um, you've been our, you've been a godsend for us. Um, you're a wonderful dude. You, you've joined our family in like the friendship, and you've joined our family in the adventures and the wakeboarding and snowboarding, and you become like a, a brother to Brennan and um, and a son to us. And so you know, it's you know they say you know you're losing your daughter, you, you give her away, but really we've gained a son. Yeah. Cheers. You've always been cheerful and you've always been kind. Can 
to do that <laughs> with my yes, it's your daughter. Yes, it's your life. Okay. And last one. KK? I'm oh. only calling you KK. Uh, you, marriages are hard, but even when they're down to poles, you have to be able to put the wood back in, figuratively, but also literally. And, I know, but you have to add wood to it and make the fire get back to where it was. Oh, yes. I love it. Okay, Molly, yeah. Oh, I'm done? Okay. <laughs> Always communicate. Don't hold it in. When you have a grudge, just let him know what it's about, because he's not telepathic. He yeah. doesn't know what you're thinking. You have to tell him. My five. Oh, last but not least, always live your adventure. Hey KK. Um, so I started playing soccer again, kind of because of you. Like that was one of the reasons I enjoyed playing in the first place. Um, also, I'm supposed to give advice to you. So I really hope you just keep making good fashion choices because you're doing really great so far. And I love you so much, and I'm so happy you're in my life. Also, if you ever need a babysitter, I'm always in need of money. KK, I don't even know if I can get through this without crying, but um, I love you like you're my own. I'm so thankful for all the years we've had. And the one thing I can say about being a wife and a mom is, even though it's really difficult to do, you need to put yourself first. Because it is true, happy wife, happy life. Don't lose yourself. And you will be the best mom and the best wife you can be if you just um, remember who you were and who you are. You're beautiful, you're strong, you're resilient. Um, I love you, but I, I think that's my best advice. Um, don't lose sight of who you are. And again, thank you for letting me be a part of this special day. I love you. Hey, Kaylin, KK, Julie, Aunt Julie. I love you, and you are so beautiful inside and out, and I'm so sorry I haven't been a bigger presence in your life in the past few years. You have so much ahead of you. I mean, look at me, having babies at 46, 48 years old, twice the age of your mom when I first had my baby. Who knew? My advice to you is be yourself. You are so beautiful and so smart. And you can do anything you put your heart to. And when you're around those little ones, if they dig into your purse, and they find a condom, tell them it's quite like that. Okay? I love you. Two big things. Be yourself. Do it with all your heart. Oh, good job. I okay, I have advice for KK and Mikey. Um, I just wanted to say that things um, aren't always easy ask for help, um, go through the good times and the bad times, um, talk, <laughs> take breaks when you need to, it's okay to walk away <laughs> and say I need my space, but it's also okay to come back together um, and work it out. And we love you guys so much. Michael and Kaylin's first dance together as a married couple right here. Let's get it.
door. Don't forget the keys under the mat. When childhood stars shine, always stay humble and kind. Is it grandpa every chance to be okay? Won't be wasted time. Always stay humble and kind. Hold the door, say please, say thank you. Don't steal, don't cheat, no lie. I know you got mountains to climb. stay out here on the floor. We're going to get Kaylin up too. What we're doing here, folks, is the anniversary dance. That means if you marry, I need you right out here. If you married, I need you right out here, folks, right out here on the floor. And we're going to weed them out one by one. Or year by year. We'll be right back. Okay, so right out here, folks. Let's get it. We're going to kick things off. We only got three minutes to do so. So I need everybody out here before we kick that mule, okay? All right. All right, folks, I'll be ready to get it. All the married couples out here on the middle of the floor. Here we go. Kick that meal. Oh, we're doing it all tonight. We're doing it all. Mm. From this moment, life has begun. From this moment, you are the one right beside you. It's where I belong. From this moment, mm. looks like we made it. All right, now, now, unless you've been married less than one day, unless you've been married less than one day, if you've been married less than five years, please stand just right outside the dance circle, folks. But you have to get off the floor. You guys need to stay on the floor because you've been married less than one day. Now, five years or less, you got to go. Got to go. But you can come back and watch this. Okay, now we're going to kick it up a notch. Ten years, folks. If you've got ten years or less of marital bliss, you got to go. Ten years or less. Ten years or less. Nobody, nobody. Okay, I'm gonna bring it up, I'm gonna kick it up a notch. We're gonna go 15 years, 15 years or less of marital bliss. 15 years or less. We're gonna bring this up a whole lot. I'm gonna go 20 years, 20 years or less of holy matrimony. You got to go. 20 years or less, folks. Okay, I got, I got a couple takers right there. I got a couple. They got less than a day right here. Yeah. They, they won the prize for less than a day. Who do you know 30? 30 years or less. If you've been married 30 years or less, way out here, folks. 30 years or less. 3 0. You guys don't even look at it. How you got more than 30? Come on. Okay, 35 then. 35, 35. 
Battles, folks. This is real. This is real. Can we get a picture with them? 54, 20 years, folks. Okay, folks, now while we're out here, we're going to switch things up a little bit. We need everybody out here on the dance floor because we're gonna get a group photo of all you lovely faces, friends and family, and everything in between. Right here in the middle of the dance floor. Everybody here is VIP, y'all. Let's do it. Everybody here. There is no VIP table because if you're here, you're VIP. Let's do it. Let's get everybody right out here and we're gonna get it. Okay, if everybody can look right up here at the photographer. I'm telling the team. Hey, everybody, put your hands up in the air like this. Hands in the air, wave them like you just don't care. That's what I'm talking about. We're going to keep that meal. Make sure you stay out here. Let's do this. Come on now.